Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about package naming conventions. I'm going to open up my web browser here to javacjava.com, select menu, then Java OOP tutorials which is my object-oriented programming tutorials page. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down here to package naming conventions. This tutorial will discuss recommendations for package naming conventions. The whole idea behind package naming conventions is to maintain unique package.class names and avoid naming collisions. Recommendation number one, do not name your package Java or JavaX. If the first statement in your class is package java semicolon, then you better check your sanity, or maybe it's congrats on your new Java at Oracle. The Java class libraries use the Java package name. For example, J uh, the package java.lang is automatically imported when we create a class. The java.lang provides classes that are fundamental to the design of, java pro of the Java programming language. Recommend recommendation number two. Use lowercase. By naming your package lowercase, you will prevent conflicts with class and interface names. Recomm recommendation number three. Name your package the reverse of your internet domain name. My website URL is javacjava.com, so I should name my packages com.javacjava.namespace. For example, com.javacjava.aboutme or com.javacjava.location. I use this technique in real life, but not in my tutorials. I don't need a bunch of com.javacjava packages floating around out there that I didn't write. In other words, people are cutting and pasting all my stuff and putting it in a real code. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and move on here. So, I'm going to come down here and highlight this source code here. Now this source code basically, um, it's going to be, well, basically, now let's see how do I want to explain this. All right, so um, you're going to want to follow the, the, the naming convention, right? So all in lowercase, so I've got this package called com.mywebsite.mypackage, right? We need the appropriate directory structure there as well. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this at control C to copy and or right click and select copy and I'm going to go ahead and move the browser off screen here. All right, I have a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one real quick by right clicking select new shortcut, type in cmd, all right? Next and finish. It's just that easy. All right, let's type in Java C and press enter. You should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by, but if you don't, if you get an error message, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD short for change directory, backslash will tell it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory here called Java. Now, I already have it, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. And change directories to the Java folder. Okay, now this is my working folder there, right? This is not going to be my namespace. This is just my working directory. Um, now, in order to follow the naming conventions we just talked about, we have to make a directory called com, and then we'll have to change to the com folder. And then we're going to make another directory called uh, my website, right? And we'll change directories to the my website directory, subdirectory. And we'll make another directory called uh, my package, right? And we'll change directories to my package. Now I'm going to notepad conventions.java. Conventions.java is going to be the name of our source code file. Our working directory is right here after Java. So our package name is going to be com.mywebsite.mypackage, okay? Let's go ahead and create this, paste this in there. So we've got package, com.mywebsite.mypackage, class conventions. So basically a couple of different lines here using the print line method. I'm invoking a couple of string literals, nothing, nothing that's actually doing much of anything here. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this out. Pop back here to the DOS prompt. 
I'm going to type in cd, which is change directory, backslash, right, which will take us to the root. I can tack on Java right onto the end of this here, right, and that will take us directly to the Java folder. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen here. We want to type in Java C now to compile this. We'll type in com and then backslash, and then we can just basically use the tab to shortcut through these. So we hit tab, that'll pull up the the directory, first directory in there, hit backslash tab, backslash tab. So you can see, you know, we can use the shortcut keys rather than typing all that out pretty efficiently there when we're trying to compile something. Okay, now that we've compiled it, we're good to go there. So we are going to run the conventions class inside of the com.mywebsite.mypackage package. That sounds redundant, redundant. <laughs> okay, uh, so we want to uh, you. Um, run the Java virtual machine and we are going to invoke the conventions class under com.mywebsite.mypackage.conventions. All right, let's go ahead and uh, run that. So the package name com.mywebsite.mypackage will minimize the chances for name collisions unless you are part of a large organization, then you better go talk to your IT guy and see what your uh, procedure is in that particular case. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. I don't really have any final thoughts on this today, it's just, just naming conventions, so. That concludes this tutorial, thanks for watching.